Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. Alright, for this video, students are going to use inequalities to solve real world problems. So let's start by remembering how to write x less than 5 and x less than 5. So what's the difference between the two? For x is less than 5, we are trying to compare x and 5. So we are going to say x, the less than symbol, and then the 5. Now for x less than 5, this is just a subtraction. But we have to read this one backwards. So it is 5 minus x. Next, how are we going to write each of this statement into a mathematical statement? x is no less than 5. This means that x is not less than 5. It means that x can be equal to 5 and it can also be x greater than 5. So to write x is no less than 5, we will say x greater than or equal to 5. Now x is at least 5 means that 5 is the minimum. So we can have 5 or more than 5. So this one can be written as x greater than or equal to 5. So in this case, 5 is the minimum number. Minimum number. Okay, x is at most 5 means 5 here is our maximum number. We can't go beyond 5. Now, is it possible that x is equal to 5? Yes, it is. But we can't go beyond 5. So x is at most 5 can be written as x less than or equal to 5. And x is no more than 5 can be written as x less than or equal to 5. Right? So let's have our first example. So Aiken needs to buy a fence to put around his rectangular yard for his dog. Now Aiken forget the width of his yard but knows the length is 70 yards. His wife told him to buy 350 yards of fence. Now what is the greatest possible width for Aiken's yard? So we're talking about putting a fence on a rectangular yard. So we are going to use the formula for the perimeter 2L plus 2W equals P. Now, wife knows that he needs to buy 350 yards of fence. So it is possible that the total perimeter is equal to 350. Now, here's the question. Can the perimeter be greater than 350? Now, if the perimeter will be greater than 350, then the 350 yards that the wife uh, mentioned to him that he needs to buy will not be enough. Okay, But in this problem, it seems like the wife is certain that, okay, just buy 350 yards of fence and that will be enough. Okay, so we cannot be greater than, uh, greater than 350. Can it be equal to 350? Yes, that's a possibility. Now, can it be less than 350 also? Because what he knows is that the length is just equal to 70 yards. Now, he forgot about the width. Now, if he's going to buy 350 yards, there's a possibility that depending on the width, they will not be able to consume the entire materials. So it is okay or it is possible that the perimeter, the two L, the L and the L, and the width might be uh, smaller to the 350 yards that um, Acon is going to buy. So we have to write this then as 2L plus 2W less than or equal to. Okay, less than or equal to. So. We know that the L should be equal to 70. So we are going to solve now for the greatest possible width for a yard, given that the total number of materials that he is going to buy is 350 yards. So from here, we'll get 140, subtract 140 to both sides, and then divide by 2, we'll get 
105. So it means that the width can be equal to 105 or it can be less than 105. So given that the length is equal to 70, okay, the maximum width that we can have for a concierge is 105. That's the maximum based on the number of fence that he's going to buy. But of course, since he's not certain about the width of his yard, there's a possibility that the width might be smaller than 105. Okay, if that's the case, then we will not be able to use the entire materials that Acon is going to buy. So it is possible that we can have less than um, 350 yards. And that's why um, instead of using the equal sign here, we use the less than and equal to. Alright, next question. Shakira needs to buy a fence to put around her rectangular yard for her horse. Now Shakira forget the length of her yard but knows the width is equal to 120 yards. Now her brother told her to buy 520 yards of fence. What is the greatest possible length for Shakira's yard? So again, we're talking about rectangular yard and fencing. Okay, so we are going to use the formula 2L plus 2W equals P. Now with this amount of fence, is it possible to go beyond 520? It's not possible, okay, because we will not have enough materials. Um, is it possible to be equal to 520? Yes, it is possible. Now, it is, is it possible to be less than 520? Okay. Now, since Shakira doesn't know the, the length of her yard, there's a possibility that she may not be able to use the entire fence. Okay. So, the way we are going to write the inequality will be 2L plus 2W less than or equal to 520. Okay. Now, we know that the width is equal to 120. So, using substitution property, we'll get 2L plus 2 w is equal to 120 2 times 120 is 240 subtract 240 to both sides we'll get 280 then divide by 2 we'll get l less than or equal to 140 so the greatest possible length for shakira's yard is 140 so we can write this in terms of words as maximum uh, length will be equal to 140 okay or we can say no more than 140 okay it can be equal to 140 or less than 140 all right next question we have here queen's dominion charges 30 dollars per car load including the first four people and two dollars for each additional person in the car now let's find an inequality that can be used to determine the maximum number of people that can go and ride one car for 50 dollars so note that we just need to find an inequality so four people right away will be thirty dollars and then two dollars for each additional person so how are we going to write this statement okay so two dollars per additional person so that's plus 2x so we have two dollars per additional person so in terms of a mathematical statement 30 plus 2x. Can we go beyond $50? No, we cannot because in this case, we just want to know quality that can be used to find the maximum number of people that can go and ride one car only for $50. Okay, so we can't go beyond $50. It is uh, okay to have equal to 50. Now, is it possible to have just lower than $50 or less than $50? Yes, that's also possible, okay, depending on the number of people who will um, ride the car. So, we are going to write this one as less than or equal to 50. And this will be our inequality. Now, what if the question is find the maximum number of people that can go and ride one car for $50. So what we need to do is proceed in solving this inequality. So we will subtract 30, we'll get 2x less than or equal to 20. Now divide by 2, we'll have x less than or equal to 10. So what's the maximum number of people that can go and ride one car for 50 bucks? 
is it ten dollars now it's net it should be 14 people why 14 because for fifty dollars thirty dollars will have now four people now for the remaining twenty dollars we can have 10 people because for the first four people we can have we have to pay thirty dollars and then two dollars for additional person after the first four people so we have extra twenty dollars here and for the twenty dollars we can have include um, 10 additional people on top of the first people that um, we have okay so all in all it will be 14 people all right next question Jay Timberlake earns $538 a week selling washing machine. He receives a bonus of $25.35 for each machine he sells, plus his salary. Now, how many washing machines must he sell to earn at least $850 a week? Okay, so $850 is our magic number. Is it possible to get lower than $850? No, that's not the case because his goal is to have a minimum of 850 a week so we cannot have less than is it possible to have equal yes it is possible is it possible to be greater than 850 yes it is also possible so how are we going to write then the initial uh, inequality so 538 a week then a bonus of 25 dollars and 35 cents per machine that he is going to sell so we can write this as 538 plus 25.35 x greater than or equal to 850 now what is important here is to make sure that you have to use the correct inequality symbol okay again we said earlier we can't use less than because his goal is to have a minimum of 850 dollars a week so it's okay to have equal sign equal to 850 better yet if he can get more than 850 then he will be able to uh, achieve his goal so solving for this inequality subtract 538 to both sides and then divide by 25.35 will get 12.31 so he needs to sell at least 12.31 machine now here's the question do we have 0.31 machine okay we don't have we cannot just break the machine and put it into um, um pieces and say this is 0.3 this is 0.5 and sell that to the customer okay so we have to sell um one unit of the um washing machine so now here's the question should we run this one to 12 or it should be x greater than or equal to 13. So in this case, the possible answer can be C or D. All right. Now, if we say that 12 machines only, okay, because we learned that if we are going to round this one off, it should be equal to 12, okay? But note that if J. Timberlake is going to sell only 12 machines, he will not be able to achieve eight hundred fifty dollars okay so let's check using our casio so assuming that he will only be selling 12 machines then we'll have 538 plus 25.35 um, and then let's say he's going to sell 12 machines okay and per machine he's going to get a bonus of 25 dollars and 35 cents on top of his salary 538 so if he's going to sell 12 machines he will just be getting 842.20 okay so that's not enough for his goal of $850 so instead of saying X should be greater than or equal to 12 we have to say that it should be X greater than or equal to 13 so it means that our answer here should be letter D all right next question Mr. Bubu's class is planning a carnival. The cost to rent the space and rides is $538.25. To pay for the space and rides, 
each student must pay $5.50 and $10.25 for each guest who is not from Mr. Bubu's class. Now, 55 students from Mr. Bubu's class plan to attend. Now, how many guests must attend in order to pay for the space and rides? Okay, so here we know that they need $538.25. Um, now, each student is going to pay $550. Now, 55 students will be coming. For, the, for each guess, they have to pay $10.25. Okay, so let's try to summarize. So first, we know that per student will be um, $5.50 each. Guess is $10.25 each. But we know that uh, 55 students already signed up to attend. So we know that we have 55 students. So if each student is going to pay $5.50, they will be able to have a money of $302.50. So how do we get that? Well, you just have to multiply 5.5 times 55. So we have $302.50. Next, for each guess, uh, for each guest, they have to pay $10.25. So how many guests must attend in order to pay for the space and rides? So we know that we have $302.50 already, um, $10.25 per guest, so that's plus 1025x. Now our goal is to come up with this amount of money 538.25 now is it possible to have less than 538.25 that's not possible because um, if they will not have enough money then they will not be able to pay for the space and the rights so that's not possible we can't have less than is it possible to be equal to 538.25 Yes, that's possible, okay? Um, is it possible to get more than 538.25 depending on the number of guests um, that might come? Yes, greater than is also a possibility. So, the way we are going to write our inequality will be 302.5 plus 10.25x greater than or equal to 538.25. We just need to solve for x, subtract 302.5 to both sides. We will be able to get 235.75. Again, to double check our answer, 538.25 minus 302.5 is equal to 235.75. To solve for x, we divide by 10.25. And we'll get x greater than or equal to 23. So if we have 23 gas, then they'll be able to get $538.25. And now have to pay for the space and rides. But if they'll be able to um, invite more than 23 gas, then they'll be able to get more than $538.25, okay, more than enough to pay for the um, space and the rides. So maybe after the carnival, they can go somewhere, um, in a ice cream store, and buy some ice cream or cotton candy. I don't know. So the answer here will be at least 23 guests. All right, last question. So we have here Usher is planning to buy a PlayStation 6. The console costs $250 and each disc costs $55. The allowance that he saved for a couple of, week, a couple of weeks is $690. How many PS6 discs can he buy with this amount of money? So these are the possible um, answers. 
So first we know that the console costs $250 and then each disc costs $55. So that's $250 plus $55X. So here's the question. $690 is the amount of money that he saved. Um, is it possible to spend more than $690? No, that's not possible, okay? Because the only, uh, his, his money is only $690. So his budget is only $690. Now, it's okay if he can spend exactly $690. It's also okay if he will be able to spend less than six ninety, but not greater than six ninety. So we have to disregard this. So when we write our inequality, two fifty plus fifty five x should be less than or equal to six ninety. Okay, solving for x, subtract two fifty to both sides. So we have six ninety minus two fifty equals four forty divided by fifty five. And we'll get 8. So x should be less than or equal to 8. It means that the maximum number of discs that he can buy is 8. Okay? So should we choose C? At least 8? Okay, C is wrong. At most 8, meaning 8 is the maximum. Okay? So x less than or equal to 8 can also be written as at most 8. So B will be our final answer. Okay? So there we go. This is... Um one applications on how to apply inequalities go ahead and solve the rest and if you have any question we'll discuss your questions tomorrow